if this comes to your mind when we talk about nuclear energy or this comes to your mind uh, then you need to watch on because uh, you have been wrong your entire life so so uh, so in case you didn't know we are all crazy about climate change and we all save the world uh, by bringing our own plastic bags to NTUC fair price uh. But one of the best ways to go green uh, is to stop using fossil fuels for energy uh, and to use greener sources of energy. To simplify things, uh, just think of fossil fuels uh, as things burn to create energy. Uh. Even our electricity is created by burning fossil fuels. This isn't green. Uh. So uh, if we really want to go green, uh, we have two options. Uh. Show off your greenness online or use alternate sources of electricity. This is why uh, I email PM uh, and then ask him uh, to look at my house door handle. Uh. Cause uh, I think uh, my house door handle uh, has an alternate source of electricity. Uh, cause uh, wherever I touch, uh, it shot me. Yeah, I don't know what the heck happens eh. But there are many other greener sources like solar power or wind power. But there's one that's very powerful one, nuclear power. You see, we often think of nuclear as a weapon. But simply put, it's more of a technology. It's like we drill all the way down to the atom level. Things are moving super fast there. And if we can kind of convert that movement from the atom level to a normal size level, then we can have lots of energy. That's also the size behind nuclear bomb since it's essentially energy. That sounds scary until you know that countries are actually doing that, creating sources of clean energy. But when you of that, uh, you think of the accidents that have happened, like the high profile Chernobyl disaster in 1986 and the Fukushima nuclear disaster in 2011. These high profile accidents uh, are usually meltdowns. Now, is that why uh, the world is not going for nuclear energy as an alternate source of energy? Eh? Well, maybe yes, maybe no. Because one of the reasons uh, is that people are scared. Uh, but here's the thing based on maths, uh, their fear uh, is kind of unfound. Eh? You see, uh, I ask you, I ask you, uh, which mode of transport is more dangerous? Plane? Or cars. You would think it's plane uh, since you are in the air uh, and then uh, there are many high profile stories uh, of plane crashes uh, etc etc. Uh. But uh, you see uh, based on statistics uh, it's much 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 more dangerous to travel by cars than by planes. For example uh, the odds of dying in a car accident uh, is about 1 in 114 while it's 1 in 9821 uh, for a plane crash. But we are still worried simply uh, because uh, humans uh, like to fear irrational things. Uh. If not uh, why do you think I bought so many hair treatment packages? Eh? Sorry, uh, we love money, so I need to insert an ad here. Uh. If not, uh, I know food, uh, and then we'll lose my berry. For this video, we don't have a sponsor. Uh, so if anyone wants to buy an app store like this, uh, email us, uh, link in profile, or guarantee views one. Eh. Also, uh, download our app, uh, cause we no sponsor for this video, uh, so we sponsor ourselves. Uh. <laughs> but this month no pay uh. Now, this is actually the same for nuclear power. You see, fossil fuel energy kills a lot of people too, but it's not as high profile. Based on stats, uh, which experts calculated by looking at the number of deaths per unit of electricity produced, uh, nuclear energy costs 0.03 deaths per terawatt hour, but fossil fuels uh, can cost a whopping up to 32 deaths per terawatt hour. Yeah. yeah, it's 0.03 uh, versus 32. Eh. This is why, actually, uh, in case you didn't know, uh, last year, uh, 22 countries actually want to increase nuclear energy by 3 times by 205 uh, in a bid to cut carbon emissions uh, to net zero by the same. Yeah. How does Singapore come into play? Eh? You see, nuclear reactors uh, need lots of space. So in the past, uh, Singapore cannot do that. Uh, so we just stop using plastic bags instead. Uh. But throughout the years, we have kept that option open. Now, what happened recently is that it seems that we are doing more studies and whatnot. We are even going to have 100 nuclear energy experts. And basically, uh, quite a bit of resources uh, are put into studying nuclear energy in Singapore. But why they? Eh? Other than the potential of using nuclear energy to go green, uh, there are new technology coming uh, whereby uh, we might not need a big, big nuclear reactor uh, to generate nuclear energy, but small, small ones, uh, known as small modular reactors. And still got other new technology, uh, like nuclear fusion uh, instead of nuclear fission. Basically, uh, you can say that people are excited at this. Uh. If you are watching this in 205 uh, can you tell me uh, if Singapore is powered by nuclear uh, and also uh, the MRT to GB uh, is it really big or not? Uh, that one we can go to Mars already uh, still not big if you think I learned something uh, consider subscribing uh, and also watch this video uh, to be slightly smarter